Welcome to the CADFIM ANSYS tutorials. In this presentation, we would like to show you how to use ANSYS Workbench and the CADFIM IHF toolbox to obtain a strength assessment in accordance with FKM guidelines. We want to carry out this assessment on a slotted spring pin employed in processing machines. These slotted spring pins are subjected to tensile stresses on axis under symmetrical loading conditions. We therefore begin by using a corresponding geometry model. Pro-E in this case. We start ANSYS and we once again find ourselves in the Project Manager, which has already imported the geometry. Following that we activate the Workbench FKM extension via the CADFEM IHF extensions menu. In order to begin the calculation, we link the mechanical analysis with the geometry that's just been imported. We use the standard steel, and we use the geometry, and finally we edit the agreed model definition. A good FKM assessment requires a good mesh, i.e. in the critical region where the arc is situated, the mesh needs to undergo localised refinement, so we select this surface and define a local element size of 0.3mm. We then select a mapped mesh. We check the mesh. It looks plausible. It looks good. Now we can define the boundary conditions with corresponding symmetry across a frictionless support and the surfaces across which, in the case of a frictionless support, the milling cutter is activated. And the same with the cone that has a frictionless support, which is designed to slide into its counterpart. Here on the end we'll define a load which pulls on our collet. 5,000 newtons, i.e. one-sixth of the total load, and that completes the entire loading condition. So we can now compile the results that will give us the deformation and stress, and we can start the analysis. OK, now a plausibility check. We check deformation, preferably using the deformed model, and then we see that the component is elongated, as should be the case. And we can see that it slides along the surface of the cone. Maximum stress occurs in the area of the indent, which makes sense. We can then check the quality of the mesh by duplicating the result and comparing the averaged results with the unaveraged results. And here we see that the difference is very, very small, less than 1%. And that means the mesh is good enough. For FKM assessment, we use the FKM icon bar above the tree directory. We select the corresponding function and define the properties that are pertinent to the assessment. This includes the load type, in this case a pulsating load. Then we define the FKM assessment global calculation parameters. And then finally, the exact material properties for this component. Then we activate the FKM result. And after a short time, we get a 3D result showing the spatial division of the degree of utilisation in accordance with the FKM guidelines. In this case we see the maximum at 124%, so in this case it has not produced the desired verification. We can also document this assessment in the form of a report. We activate the report function, select the relevant type, and within a very short time we get an auditable document which can be used for product documentation.